Hi YouTube, it's Alicia. Um, this is going to be what's in Zoe's hospital diaper bag. Um, I just packed the bag today and I definitely overpacked. Um, having a girl is way too much fun. So I'm just going to get it started. And first I'm just going to say the things that are missing in this bag. Um, I want to bring um, a nipple shield, um, which I need to get a new one. I had one with Wyatt, and it's really helpful. Um, so I want to bring a nipple shield, and I think that's it, really. That's all I'm missing. Oh, and my boppy pillow, which it's in the closet. I have it. I just I don't have it out. So anyways, this is my diaper bag. It is the J.J. Cole um, Mode... I don't know the color, or the, yeah, what the color's called. But anyways, this is a diaper bag. My sister got it for me, and I love it. So, um, in the front pockets, I just put in diapers. I just have a few diapers in here. Um, my hospital provides diapers. I'm just keeping them in my diaper bag just because it's a diaper bag. So... I probably won't be using these, but um, they're in there. So anyways, that's what's in the front pockets. And then in this front pocket here, I have my wipes case, which don't I don't have wipes in it yet. I just don't want them to dry out. <clears throat> and then in the back is the, um, the mat, the, um, what is it called? Oh my gosh, such an airhead. You know what I'm talking about, right? I cannot think of the name of this. Just where you lay your baby to change your diaper. If it's like, you know. Sorry, I'm really tired. White's laying down for his nap. I had to wait till he fell asleep. And I'm so laid down with him. So anyways, this is full. It's ridiculous. So I'll just get it started. So I have my nursing cover. And then a swaddler, um, just the pink one. And we'll probably won't be using this just because the um, hospital blankets are the best swaddlers ever. Um, just a burp cloth, just a pink and gray. Two receiving blankets, a monkey one and just pink one. And a light blanket. It will be July when she's here, so um, it should be warm. I might pack um, a heavier blanket just because we are in the Northwest. So anyways, this is what I have. I just thought this one would be really cute for pictures because it's not too loud. And um, yeah, and I might be actually taking that one there too, and that's a heavier one. But it's so pretty. I got it. I'll show you guys. I got it at my baby shower. And I don't know if you can really see it. But it looks like a bunch of little roses. And it's so soft. So, uh, yeah, I just convinced myself this one's going with us. <laughs> just because um, my friend is going to be there taking pictures for us. So, um, just this would just be so pretty for pictures. Okay, and I'll show you her taking the home outfit last. <clears throat> and this is why I'm in trouble, because the reason why it's so packed in here is because I wanted to just bring everything of our newborn stuff. So I have one, two, three, four shirts, three onesies, one shirt. I just have a purple one. This one, it matches her blanket. And just a pink and white polka dot. And then just a white um, one that snaps on the side. And then um, brought this little card again in case it's chilly. It has the mitten co or the hand covers. And then I also brought a white zip up. Um, pretty big so I don't know if it'll fit her so that's why I brought the other cardigan 
And then, um, <laughs> this is why <laughs> I have four pairs of pants, all the ruffle butts, and I just couldn't decide. I'm sure I could easily go back and really choose, like, what's necessary. Like, I, I have three pants. I don't need the bright pinks. <laughs> so I'm going to bring brown, gray, and, and the baby pink. And then I have um, just this sleeper, and it doesn't have feet on it, but it has the, um, the hand covers. And then this one, the strawberry one, and the strawberry on the butt. And then um, this is really handy in the hospital, um, just a sleep sack. This one's zero to six, it's the Gerber one. It's pretty small, but it's really nice. It's um, easy on their umbilical cord and easy access to the diapers. So we're gonna bring this one. I might pack another one. And they don't take up much room, so. Um, then I have three beanies, just a floral beanie. Um, one that says love and then just a plain pink one and honestly Wyatt's head was so little that all the beanies I brought them didn't fit so if she's anything like her brother those won't fit her um then I have <laughs> one two three pairs of socks um I should have mentioned this earlier I'm having a C-section, so my stay in the hospital be, will be between two and four days, which hopefully it will only be two, um, just depending on, excuse me, on recovery. So, anyways, I have three sets of socks, um, the two hand covers so she doesn't scratch her face, and lots of, um, Headband, so I'll show you all those. <laughs> I coordinated with her outfits. So I'm bringing these ones. Oh my gosh, I'm so pathetic. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Those ones and then this one right here. So I'm going to put these back in her bag. Um, then... I just brought, of course, I'll wash these and sanitize them before, but I have these in my bag. Um, the hospital provides the similar ones, the soothing ones, the green ones, so I just have these in my bag. I'm sure I won't need them. And then, let's see. I have um, breast pads, which... I don't think I'll need my milk didn't come in with Wyatt until like the third day and I really didn't start leaking until that night so just brought a few they're just in my diaper bag anyways because that's where where they'll be these are um, alcohol prep pads the hospital provides them I took them from my last hospital she gave me a bunch it's for the umbilical cord to help clean up the umbilical cord so I have um, a few of those then, in one of my side pockets, I have diaper cream, which I won't need. Hospital will probably have it. Powder, which I probably won't use. Um, lotion, which I probably won't use. And then nipple cream, which I will use. Um, this is just the lanolin um, Sue's Heels Protect Sore Nipples. I didn't have this with Wyatt, actually. I had, oh, I don't remember the brand. But the one I had had like, um, it was like a different texture and it actually hurt my nipples worse than a cream. So I'm really looking forward to using this. I hope it works so much better and I hope that I don't have to use the nipple shield at all. And I'm really considering leaving the nipple shield at home just so um, I can kind of just get the pain over with because my nipples hurt with Wyatt so yes I'm excited to give this a try um, 
And that's it for that. Then, um, oh, I will be putting chapstick in here also, which actually I'll probably put that in my hospital bag. And then, okay, that's it. And now her, whoo, almost dropped my camera. Um, and then her take home outfit. I wanted her to be really comfortable. So I wanted to go with something simple, but really pretty because I'm so excited to have this girl. You guys have no idea. Um, I'm pretty girly myself. And, well, as I became older, I became girlier. Um, when I was little, I was a tomboy. But anyways, so I'm just so excited. And um, I love having my son. And I love making him a cute little boy. You know what I mean? So I'm so excited for this little girl. So this is what I am thinking. It's two options. Um, we can do... The little sister shirt with the neon pink and then the neon pink pants there's that or this it's like a tank dress I don't know um, neon pink and white butterflies with the pink pants underneath so it just depends on the weather and, um, yeah, so that's why I brought the two jackets. Pretty sure this one will be too big. You know, so if it's, if it's, uh, cold out, we can put this on her. But I think this is too big. So, um, that's why I brought this other one. And I still think that would look cute over it. Over both of them, really. Um, just a little cardigan to keep her warm. So that's it. I'm I'm not gonna bring shoes for her. She'll wear socks. Um, so yeah, that is her hospital bag. Um, let me know if there's anything I'm forgetting because I'm sure there is. Um, I just did this really quick today. Well, I've been packing it slowly, but I kind of finalized it today. Um, and why it's sleeping. So that's why this is rushed because. I'm so anxious to get in that bed with him and sleep. We didn't sleep very well last night. Um, some upcoming videos. I will be doing my hospital bag and Zach's hospital bag. Um, then I will be doing a tour of her nursery, which is, it's complete. I just was wanting to do the last minute things, but I think I'm just going to show you guys what it what it is. So, anyways, so... My hospital bag, Zach's hospital bag, nursery tour, my bedroom tour of how we are, um, how we have our setup for her and for Wyatt and co-sleeping, and um, husband tag, and the 10 facts you may not know about me tag. Um, so those are some upcoming videos, and I really hope I can get those done in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah. I think that's it, you guys. Any questions, um, comments, and any advice on what else I should put in this bag, please let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.